Feels more like fall instead of spring currently for the Denver area. There's lots of clouds, temperatures staying far below normal, Alan. But tomorrow we're going to warm things up big time. And then we start to cool off again as we head toward the Memorial Day weekend. Live over Elish Gardens this, uh, this midday, I should say. We've got 58 degrees. We're going to top out maybe 5 degrees above where we are right now. The warming is going to be limited because of all the cloud cover and a northerly breeze. But it's dry. No rain or snow to talk about in Colorado for today. Greer has seen almost eight inches of rain since the first of the month, so it's nice to finally dry out in Weld County. Boulder has seen more than six inches. Look at these numbers. Brighton, more than five inches of rain this month. Now, of course, May is usually uh, either our wettest or second wettest month of the year. It usually is right there with July. They're one and two. Thornton has seen four and a half inches, but typically in the month of May, the whole month, we only see 2.12 in our rain gauge in Denver and DIA has seen well over an inch more than that. And again, we still have what another week to go here in the month. So the, the satellite and radar together showing the clouds streaming in from the north. They mentioned that northerly breeze and we could have wind gusts up to around 30 miles per hour at times here as we go through the afternoon. Now the storm system responsible for the rain we had late yesterday and overnight has moved down to the southeast of us. It's a front uh, that goes from around the Dallas Fort Worth area up towards St. Louis and it is heading east. There's a tornado watch that has just recently been issued for southern portions of Georgia and into the Florida panhandle. So they'll deal with some rough weather out ahead of that front. For us back behind the front, high pressure is gradually taking control of our weather. But for today, the high is centered over Salt Lake City. So we still have the northerly flow since the wind spins in a clockwise fashion around the area of high pressure. As we get into tomorrow, the high moves over into Kansas. So we're going to be on the back side of the high. We'll have the southerly breeze and therefore much, much warmer for tomorrow. It's going to be much sunnier tomorrow as well. Looks like a real nice Wednesday. And then as we get into Thursday, the day will start nice, but then later in the day we'll see showers develop as another front moves in. Temperatures will start to drop with the front as well. Maybe a few snow showers in the high country to end the week, but certainly no significant accumulation. I think we're finally starting to get to the end of the season for that. Here's four o'clock this afternoon on our future cast. I do want to point out that out near the Kansas state line, there could be uh, a renegade shower. Uh, the radar may show some rain, but I doubt much if any of it will actually be making its way to the ground. And then here's 6 a.m. to Tomorrow morning, the sun will be up by that point, and tomorrow will be crystal clear all day long until the very end of the day on the western slope. We'll start to see some clouds, the first clouds associated with the front that will be here on Thursday. Thursday's high 71 with a 40% chance for late day showers and thunderstorms. On Friday, Alan, I'm going to go with a 40% chance for rain as well, although that could be arguably higher. In fact, I think Friday is our best chance for seeing rain late in the day. And then for Saturday and the Memorial Day weekend, mm -hmm. a 20 to 30% chance for showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon and into the evening. You know how it goes this time of year. And look at the temperatures. We'll be in the 60s for those three days. Easily 10, if not 15 degrees below normal for this hmm. time of year, depending on where you're at. So it's going to be a cool Memorial Day weekend, some clouds at times, and maybe a little wet, but it certainly won't be a washout. All right. Might, might be, uh, you know, usable. Uh-huh, usable. Just remember the sweatshirt if you're going to the mountains, 40s and 50s for highs up there this All weekend. Right. Thanks, Ashton.